Yep, I think we're recording. I think it's all good. I hope I'm in focus. Yep, I'm in focus. It's fine. Hey, what's up, guys? Ollie here. So, I've seen quite a few sort of everyday carry sort of videos, posts, whatever. I've always been pretty intrigued by them. I find it interesting seeing what other people are carrying every day, what they have in their pockets, and what they're using every day. Thought I'd do one myself. So probably the first thing we should start with that everyone carries around with them is their phone. So I'm currently using the iPhone X, iPhone 10, whatever you want to call it. I've got the Apple leather case on there. I do like to switch it up though. I sometimes use a leather case and I sometimes use a super thin case. I'll leave a link in the description below for both. Do love the iPhone 10. I love the look of it and everything. Not a massive fan of the notch, but you know, you don't notice it after a while after using the phone. I will probably end up switching to the Google Pixel 3 when that comes out later this year. Just got to see what that's like, what it looks like and everything and what specs there are before I make the switch. And obviously see what Apple end up offering because knowing Apple, they're probably just going to do the same phone, but put an S on the end or something. Who knows what they're going to call it. When it comes to my watch, I'm currently using the Apple Watch actually, but this is the first generation Apple Watch. I've had it since Apple Watches got announced or well, since they were released. I can't actually remember when that was exactly. I think that might have been like four years ago now, three or four years ago. It's quite a while back now. Yeah, I've been using the Apple Watch. This is one of the exclusive ones that they had. It's the black stainless steel with the link bracelet. Absolutely love it. I think it looks amazing. I think it cost me quite a bit of money as well. I think it was quite expensive. I think it was like 900 pounds, 1000 pounds. I can't remember exactly. This is the 38 mil. I have small wrists. I didn't want to get the 42 mil because I thought it would look too big on my wrist. Because it's so old and the new watch OS update isn't going to be coming to this watch. I think it's going to be time for an upgrade soon. So who knows? I might end up going to back to normal watches because I do mainly just use this for looking at the time and notifications, nothing else really. Next item which I carry with me all the time, which I never thought I would carry with me as much as I do, is the Apple AirPods. These are the Space Gray ones from Colorware. I absolutely love these things. I genuinely think that this is probably one of the best products that Apple has released in the past few years. It's just amazing. They're so convenient and because they're so small and there's no cables, you don't have to worry about it getting messed up in your pocket or anything. And you know, they have amazing battery life as well and they charge obviously with the same cable that charges my iPhone. When it comes to wallets, I'm using a card holder. This is actually one of my own, from my own store. I was looking for a minimalist card holder so I ended up making one. This is made from genuine leather so it, it ages nicely, it wears nicely and it holds just cards. I don't usually carry around cash, I just have a bunch of cards in here. Yeah, brilliant little card holder, I love it and it's exactly what I've wanted for years. A question which I get a lot on my Instagram are about my glasses. I've shown these glasses before on Instagram pictures and stuff like that and I think I've worn them in a previous video and I've got a ton of questions about where I've got them from. They're actually from Specsavers. I usually wear glasses for driving and for seeing things far away. You know, when I'm sitting in front of the camera like this, I can see the screen above the camera fine. And when I'm sitting at the computer, I can see the screen fine. But you know, when it comes to driving and things that are like at the cinema as well, when I'm watching like a big screen that's quite far away, I use my glasses. Brilliant minimalist sort of pair of glasses. I'm gonna be changing them again soon. So <laughs> I just know that once I post another Instagram post with another set of glasses, I'm gonna have a ton of questions. But all of my glasses I usually get from Specsavers, including my sunglasses because they're prescription glasses. When it comes to cameras, I usually like to carry around the Panasonic GM1 just because it's so small. I mean, like, look at it. Look how small this thing is. It's just amazing. And this is the OG for me. This is the one that started Instagram off for me. You know, my whole Instagram sort of growth was because of this camera. I like to carry this around when I'm just going light and lean. You know, I don't want to be carrying around something big. But sometimes when I do want to carry on something big, I'll usually be using my Sony a7 III, which I'm using right now to record this video. You know, the Sony a7 III is a fantastic camera. I've done a review on it, check that out on my channel. I've also done a review on this actually as well. So yeah, check that out too. I think the Panasonic GM1 is the perfect starter camera. If you're looking to get into photography and you want to sort of up your photos on Instagram game, this is one of the cameras to start off with just because it's so cheap and, it's just a, such a nice little compact setup. It's not intimidating when you take it out and about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little everyday carry video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll leave links down below and subscribe for more.